When I came back to Los Angeles in 1979, I came in a stolen Cadillac. I stole off the showroom floor of a Bill Bland Cadillac in Houston, Texas. I went in with a phone book, put it in there. They used to have keys out in the car. You could just go crank them up and stuff. And I just drove off and came back to California. I followed a trucker here. And uh, he told me if I need gas, blow the horn, flash the lights, he'll pull over. So that's how I got back to Cali. So, what, so you, whatever happened to that car when you brought it to L.A.? You, you drove it around L.A.? Uh -uh. My cousin Roger, uh, rest in peace, he was Atlantic Drive Compton crib. I get to Cali and let him drive, and he run into a police car. <laughs> This 1979. So this is before Raymond get killed. And this is how I got back to Houston again. You know, I'd already stole a car and came back and wild and I, I let him drive. He run into a police car. Police uh, chase him. We, you know, we bail. And uh, they chase us and they actually hit him and break both his legs. And I couldn't leave him. So I went to, Juvenile, he went to he went to the hospital, but he went to juvenile too. So we were split up, you know, from I was kicked out of Compton to go live with my grandfather on 69th. And that's how I actually was over here when Raymond got killed. Raymond used to come uh come over there uh to Compton. Yeah, he used to uh, frequent frequent over there. Um uh, my auntie and uncle had a home on South Stone Acre, and that's like three, three blocks from Atlantic Drive. And I would go uh, over the car wheel, and like right where where they lived, it was it was a T section, uh, South Stone Acre and uh, car wheel, and that was Kelly Park. And down to the right, maybe three blocks down, was Atlantic Drive, and there was some apartments down there. They hung out. They hung out down there, and that was Atlantic Drive. Yeah, I know who Tookie was and by sight, you know, but it, I've never talked to Tookie. Like I had talked to Raymond, and Craig, and some of the others. I had never talked to Tookie, you know. I don't know. I, get, I think I don't know. I probably was scared of Tookie shit. Tookie was big, for real, you know. He was one of the, the bodybuilders among the Crips. Tookie was like, you know, built. I think they all was inspired by Craig Munson. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Of that weightlifting. Yeah. And getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, that was the physique. The year you know, the bodybuilders and uh, I think uh, Mike Christensen. Yeah, he was also a crip and he was a bodybuilder. So he had got big like uh, Craig and uh, Tookie. Where was Mike Christian from? Uh, from? I believe he was actually from East LA and Moved over to uh, Inglewood and started Inglewood Crips. Jamel Barnes, walking yeah. around these streets on the east side when you was young? No. Like he nah. was, was he with Raymond and Craig Craddock? No. No, not that I've not that I've ever seen. Now from my early days, no, Jamel was never down there from when I was actually around 69th in San Pedro. And I was running up and down that street. I, I've never knew Jamil. I never knew Jamil. I, I had never seen Jamil. You know, right now to this day, I have, I've never seen him in person. So the guy you would see with Raymond the most, would it be fair to say it was Craig? Or was there other guys? Fast Black. Yeah, Fast Black. And I haven't mentioned him. Yeah, Fast Black was with Raymond all the time. Yeah. Yeah, he was with Raymond all the time. And I and that was probably because Craig had got killed. My cousin Roderick was uh, murdered by the Crips uh, over there in his own hood in Atlantic Drive in 1988. And then my grandfather was murdered down on 69th in San Pedro in 89 behind my cousin being murdered because he kept messing with him by killing him. And you know, they murdered him, so. And all this is happening while you locked up? While I was locked up and nobody never told me. 
And in 1993, my grandmother in Texas died. And my mother sent me an obituary and what? It's on there. Her grandson preceded her in death, or her husband. And like now I'm like, you know, what's going on? It's 1993, you know. They've been dead since the 80s, like right after I went to prison. You know, 88, I went in 86. 88, 89, nobody never, but I was wild and I was stabbing guards beating up people and stuff in prison. You know, when I first went in, I was still wilding. You know, by 93, when I heard about my grandmother, I was like kind of on the calm down side. All right, so let's, uh, let's just wrap it up, man, and uh, give me some final thoughts of, of uh, how you feeling, man. Yeah, well, I'm feeling good. You know, I got older and wiser, and you know, I'm actually with the One Crip Nation down in Houston. And that's a part of uh, gang intervention, stop the violence, as well as a unification of crip sets in Houston. We don't have the same um, gang banging that's actually here in LA. So it's, it's kind of more simple. It's, it's real easy in Houston to say one crip nation and we got five deuce Hoover, five deuce Broadway and four Trey and 40 Avalon and everybody one big happy. We could do that in Houston every day and there never be no gunfire or, or nothing because they're more or less uh, just happy to be thought of as Crip, you know, to get recognition as Crip. It's harder for that to happen in Right, <laughs> it's harder here, you know. But, you know, we're trying to branch it out um, with Lil Runt up out of kitchen. She's actually a member. Uh, Rayshana Washington, Ray Ray, Raymond Washington's daughter. She's actually a member. So we're trying to get that more here than anywhere else. It really needs to be here because this is really where it's dangerous for the, you know, crip, crip on crip violence. So, you know, we're trying to do it to one Crip Nation, stop all the violence, get, you know, the kids and the grandkids a, a chance to live. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Like and comment below to give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related videos to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and listen to our weekly podcast, The Gangster Chronicles, every Thursday. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.